Hello everyone and welcome to Victoria's Cantina. Today we're having a look at the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series 40th Anniversary Death Squad Commander 6 inch figure. This review was made possible by Towering Toys. To pre-order this figure plus other brand new figures from Star Wars The Black Series, visit toweringtoys.com. There is a link down below. All right, so looking at the packaging here, this is absolutely stunning vintage packaging. Now, since the vintage days, this is the very first time that Hasbro has brought back the Death Squad Commander into action figure form. Even though we've gotten other similar figures, we haven't had this one, and we certainly haven't seen this character on a vintage card back in nearly 40 years. So it's quite remarkable that we finally have him here. So really love what Hasbro has done here with the original 12 on six inch scale card backs. Very nice image there of the commander, although the chap there in the photo looks a little bit older than what we see here with the actual figure itself. I love that teal color behind the figure. Here at the back, we have a very nice look at the other figures available in the Star Wars six inch 40th anniversary line, as well as the legacy pack down on bottom. Everything here looks quite great and I'm really excited to get this figure out of the packaging so that we can take a closer look and see what he's like. All right, you guys, now here is the Death Squad Commander out of the packaging. And uh, I gotta say, he looks pretty good. Proportions look as you would expect from Star Wars The Black Series. I think he's a little bit skinny, but for a $20 action figure, it works. Again, it's a very interesting character selection for the Black Series line. And if it weren't for the original 12 being remade into six inch scale action figures, then there's a good chance we wouldn't see this figure done at this point in time. So I'm really glad that uh, they're celebrating that with the 40th anniversary. Costume is solid black, along with a few touches of silver, as is quite classic for the Galactic Empire. Here is a close-up of the figure. Now he does have a removable helmet, and the way that that works is you just push forward on his chin strap, and uh, it just comes off like that, so pretty easily. And uh, now we see the figure here without it. And um, he looks good. I, I kind of feel like he looks a little bit like Javier Bardem, doesn't he? But I dig what I'm seeing. The paint is very clean. It looks like they actually painted his face rather than just casted it in some sort of a uh, color. I mean, it does look like it has a little bit of a flesh tone to it versus several of the other Black Series figures where they're just too shiny, too waxy. This looks really good. The eyebrows are nice and straight. The eyes are looking straight at you. And uh, the expression is pretty, pretty simple kind of serious, uh, not really a whole lot of emotion going on. I like it, ears look good, hair is uh, pretty nice. It's it's uh, very 70s in aesthetic, and it's um, it looks like it's shaved pretty close to his head, very short hair, and uh, the 70s side burns are hilarious. Uh, I think it looks fantastic. Now the rest of the costume, again, it's very simplistic. It's black, it's, a, it's an officer's sort of uniform, and uh, I like how it's a little bit more matte here on the jacket and on the pants. And then for the gloves, those are a little bit more glossy. And the same is true down here for the boots. You have a little bit more of a sheen with those. The belt buckle is a nice uh, silver, as are these other details alongside it. Back of the belt's a little bit matte too. Pretty nice texturing going on here in the jacket. And uh, that carries through to the sleeves. You get the Imperial insignia right there. It looks quite nice. And uh, all in all, I, I just think that the aesthetics here are right on. It's exactly what it needs to be for a Black Series six inch figure. Now you also notice that he does come with the pistol and I have it holstered right there. It goes in very easily and it pulls out very easily. And uh, it looks great. It actually looks quite a bit like the blaster that the rebels carry on uh, the Tana V4 at the beginning of the film. So it's interesting that he comes with this and uh, the holster does look pretty good too. It has kind of like a leather sort of look to it. And again, it just slips in uh, very nicely, very easily, just like that. So in terms of articulation, you do get your ball joint here at the top of the neck and uh, you can make him look down a little bit. He can go up a little bit, not a whole lot of movement. It, it is kind of restricted because you see that collar that sticks up from his jacket. Ball joints at both of these shoulders, no problems there. Uh, ball hinging at both of the elbows, rotations at both of the wrists, and they both hinge up and down on both sides. Here at the torso, you do get a ball joint, but uh, for all intents and purposes, it's basically just a swivel. It doesn't really go up or down a whole lot. Ball hinging at both of the hips, and uh, that's about as far as you're gonna get. This one is restricted because of that holster, and uh, they do go forward um, decently enough. There is some restriction there from the lower 
jacket, that rotation at both of the thighs, you get your double bends at both of the knees, and then down here, you, of course, you get your bends at both of the ankles along with the rocker hinge, so very nicely articulated overall and totally on par with most other figures in the 6-inch black series. And then here's the helmet once again, just to give you a close-up look at all of the details on it. I think it looks really good. All of those holes on the helmet are pretty interesting. And uh, the way they did this other piece, uh, kind of Darth Vader-like, kind of Empire style, looks pretty nice. And you get the strap there. It's all black. It's very simplistic. And then to put it back on the figure, you basically just push it back on like that. And then just to give you a comparison here at how the Death Squad Commander scales up with other Imperial oriented action figures, I think he looks really good. He's about the same height as the Stormtrooper and a little bit shorter than Darth Vader. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. This is the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series 40th Anniversary Death Squad Commander. All in all, you guys, I think this is a fantastic figure. It's not a perfect figure. Again, I do have a little bit of an issue with some of the proportions. I think he's a little bit skinny. But nonetheless, it's a fantastic character choice, not only because it recreates something from the original 12 from 1978, but also because it's just a very left field character choice for the 6-inch Black Series line. And that always makes me really, really happy. The sculpt is really good. The texture on his costume works very nicely. I do like the contrasting blacks on the outfit. The little elements of silver really pop out at you. And uh, the face sculpt and expression are really good. Very clean paint on that head as well. The helmet comes on and off very easily. The weapon goes into his holster very easily. And he can hold it very well also. Articulation is great. It's on par with pretty much everything else from the 6 inch black series. All in all, I am totally happy with this figure. And if you're collecting the 6 inch line, and especially if you're a fan of the original 12 and you're a fan of the imperial type characters and you're definitely going to want to add this to your collection it's awesome i'm really happy to have it and i hope to see more figures like this down the road all right my friends if you've enjoyed this video please be sure to like and subscribe let me know your thoughts down below be sure to follow me on facebook instagram and twitter and as always i'd like to thank you for tuning in to victoria's cantina stay tuned for more from the star wars the black series 40th anniversary six inch line coming soon until next time Bye-bye.